I'm Johnny Scoville. I have issues. And this is Chase the Heat. I don't know what it is about me, man. Every once in a while, I just need to do this. I was talking to Tommy this morning. I was listening to the, before I did this video, I was listening to the song, I Hurt Myself Today. The Johnny Cash version. Which is interesting, because the Trent Reznor version, uh, you know, if you listen to the funny, the funny thing about those two songs, same songs, they, they mean different things. I think if you listen to Trent Reznor's, it's almost like there's hope for a tomorrow. And if you listen to, if you listen to Johnny Cash's, it's just about regret. They're very different songs to me. But once Johnny Cash sings your song, it's his forever. That's how it works. All right, so uh, boy, Tommy, I tell you what, I love my brother Tommy. I like old watches. I like vintage watches. You know what I mean? I like some newer ones, but I like mostly. My favorite watch is a birth watch he gave me. It's my birth watch. The year I was born. It's a, uh, it's a gorgeous Omega constellation in 18 karat gold. My birth year. But he gave this to me yesterday. It is about this, ugh, the dial is butter. This is a Tissot from 1960. And it's got the sweetest, most buttery dial I've ever seen on a watch. And I swear to you, it's gorgeous. It's a sea star. Anyway. So uh, it was interesting. We were talking this morning. He's like, man, you ever just feel like you kind of need a tattoo? What he's saying is, I need some pain in my life. Whether he's realizing it or not. Anyway. <clears throat> I need a little in my life today. So I have this box of peppers. And that might be your thumbnail. It's the pain train, people. These are some pretty incredible peppers. Let me tell you about Mr. Scova. My name is Ken um, Stemelsek. And I'm the creator of the beast, now known as the chocolate beast, to avoid issues. Um, it was on to talk a little bit. They sent me some peppers. He's going to release this. He's been growing it out for some years. He's going to release seeds for this next year. Um, and he was hoping to raise money for some charities. I will help you. I will help you any way that I can, Ken. Any way that I am able to, Ken. Um, that's really cool. I like helping charities. Um, I ate a couple of these a year ago and got $300 donated to the local chapter of DAV, which went to their food bank. Did not train for it, and it absolutely destroyed me. Had all of the effects. Had fire hose, the whole nine yards. Uh, if you decide to try these, if I decide to try them, <laughs> gonna eat them all right now. Hopefully, there's 15 of them. We'll see. They have a sneaky heat. They've tested at 880,000 Scoville from Southwest Bio Labs. Some funny stuff in here, Seth. Thank, I agree with everything you're saying in here, Ken. About, especially about having to explain to the people that paid for that lab the silliness that exists and how things are, there's so much nonsense and horse poo spread about SHUs and what's hot and what's not. But I agree with you. All right, so uh, we're going to eat these. Thank you, Ken, for sending these. Now, some of you may be saying, well, Johnny. What's a beast anyway? Let me tell you. The beast is a, uh, you take a, a, a Carolina Reaper and you cross that with a seven pot chocolate, all right? On that side, you have a chocolate, a Carolina Reaper crossed with a seven pot chocolate. Now on this side, you got a Carolina Reaper that's been crossed with a chocolate bula. 
Then you take these two pods and you breed them together. And we are now in F7. So these are stable as of next year, and he's going to release them. I'm not going to cut them all open. Boy, I'm going to cut some of them open. Whew, these are big peppers. You know why I do this, though? People always say, why do you do this? Because I like it. I don't know where I heard this the first time, but it's, scars are there for a reason. Scars remind you that all the junk you went through was real. You know, if somebody punched you in the face, I got hit in the face. I got a couple scars from that. If that scar wasn't there anymore, I'd be like, ah, oh, maybe it didn't happen. Scars are there to remind you of what you went through. But pain, pain tells us that we're still alive. So join me in this video where I celebrate life. Experiencing just a little bit of pain. For those who wonder, I like this. You know, it is what it is. I don't like heartache. Toothache, headaches, backaches. I don't like those kinds of pains. But every other pain, as weird as it sounds, I can find something pleasurable in it. So without any further ado, from my friend Ken, a piece of chocolate. I'm Johnny Scoville. I'm leveled down with issues. And this is Chase the Heat. Tossing these stems into the yard. Smoky and, and floral. If we were just doing one review of one pepper, they're floral, they're hot. They're a little bit smoky up front, bitter. And they're hot. Just in case you want to see the interior of another one. Boy, they're really oily. And the funny way I cut it, I missed a spot. That round spot is right there. Very consistent in uh, flavor and heat. I'm going to get indoors and rush in this, I promise you. My ears are burning. If you're new to the show, what that means is my body is starting to go into distress. I 
I've done this for years, over and over and over again, but my body doesn't know it. I've got a memory, but the physiological response in my body does not. So I'm going, hey, we don't need to worry. I'm going to hurt today, but it's peppers. I like that. My body's going, hey, wait a minute. What's going on? <clears throat> it's not saying, oh, hey, chill. This clown's eating peppers again. So my body's going to start sending dopamine and endorphins throughout my body to offset the pain. Hot. Ooh, that was, uh, that one tasted different. Like, it wasn't quite as ripe. Still tasted great. You know, this is so good for you. There's more vitamin C in one of these than there is in three oranges. So I'm doing my body a favor today. Soft. We may only do 14 that long. It was kind of soft. I don't want to eat soft pods. They're almost a little bit deceiving because they almost look like a chocolate habanero. If you ate this thinking it was going to be chocolate habanero heat, you'd be wickedly surprised. Wow. <clears throat> One day I was sitting here, I don't know if you saw it. I was shooting a video here about six months ago and a plane flew over and made no noise. A jet. Further off than that one, or excuse me, closer than that one, and didn't make a sound. It was really weird. I turned the camera on, around and got it on video. Strange. Three more. Oh. Well, I have so much to do today. We got some shopping to do. Wow. 
Hot tears, my eyes are burning. I can't see. <sighs> it's not because I put my fingers in my eyes, it's because I have capsaicin coming out in my tears and it's burning. Last one. These will be fun next year because you can order the seeds and uh, that goes to charity. So that's kind of awesome. Thank you, Ken. can't tell you how I feel right now. Amazing. I'm going to go play guitar. That's what I'm going to do. In the description box, you'll see a link for all the normal stuff. Uh, and there'll be a link for Ken. Pendergrass Creek Designs. You'll see his link up there. Please check it out. Uh, tell him I sent you. Right here, you got to see my son, Johnny Scoble Jr. and the lifeboat. Up here, the 26 hardest challenges I've done and pepperology. Who loves you? I do. I'm Johnny Scoble. I have issues. And this was Chase the Heat.